Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the gradebook for the uh, Alex Casey math. There are two different gradebooks because we have students who have either five credits or they have two and a half credits, so I want to go over both of them and the requirements. The requirements are pretty much the same for both of them and they just differ a little bit with, with what we call content mastery. So basically, um, the five credit class is set at, we want the students to master 75% of the content. In the Alex Casey Math um, curriculum, there are 262 topics that the student um, should master. But because we've found uh, we've found that 50% seems to be sufficient for them to pass the Casey, we have set it at 75. So basically, what that means is, in order to get um, in order to get full credit, we want them to get to 75. We know it's that mo not most all of them are going to get to 75, but we want their, their grade to be based on getting 75% uh, of the 262 topics mastered. Uh, the two and a half credit class differs in that instead of it being set at 75, it's set at 55%. So in the two and a half credit class over five LPs, we want the student to master 55% of the 262 topics. Both gradebooks have the same pieces that are assessed and they're weighted. Um, because we want to um, make sure that students are progressing through KC, a big chunk of their weight is uh, based on their monthly mastery of those 262 topics. Um, so that's weighted at 50%. Um, time is not weighted as high only because a student can go into Alex and they can sit in Alex for two hours every day and actually do only about 20% work and um, see some growth, but we don't want time to be the factor that skews any of the grades, so that's why time is at a minimum. The time is only weighted at 10%, and for the different classes there are different requirements for weekly time. For the five credit class, we have limited the time recorded for each week either equal to or less than four hours each week. And um, if they did five hours, you wouldn't be able to record it here. Um, the gradebook won't let you, so the most you can enter in these fields is four. So in the two and a half credit class, it's only a two. The other thing we have, we have two other pieces. One is a notebook. The notebook is important because in Alex, when students go to take the assessments, there are no examples to show them how to do it. Um, since they are learning topics as they go, it's really important for them to um, write these problems down in a notebook. Jen Russell has put together a video to show uh, what it looks like and explain it better, and I will make sure that I get it to you and I link it up into the class so students have access to it. The notebook is worth 20 points. That 20 points is based on your discretion. It, uh, a student should be doing about three topics a day. So when you look at their notebook, you want to make sure they're doing about three topics a day. And for the two and a half credit class, so the notebook is at 20% and it's the same thing. It's 20 points for the notebook. The other thing here is a, an assessment. There are assess assessments built into the, the class at the end of every LP. So at the end of the LP, the student will take an LP assessment um, and this is where the notebook will come in handy for them because they can go back to that topic, they can actually see what the steps are and then replicate it in the assessment. Now it is possible when a student takes the assessment to go backwards in progress. The other thing that you'll be getting from me, um, since you won't have access to, to view the reports from as a teacher uh, in this Alex uh, curriculum. I will be sending out reports weekly to you. I send them out on Mondays and they look similar to this. Actually they look exactly like this. And basically what this is is it shows um, the last login um, so you get a sense of when they logged in. It also lets you know how many hours per week that student was in the program. This is what you'll put in the gradebook. And it also gives you the total hours that the student has already spent in the, in the um, curriculum. Down below, it gives a pie. The pie breaks out all the strands for the KC, and then um, it gives you an indicator as to how many of the topics within each strand the student has mastered. 
So in this case, this student has mastered 177 of the 262 topics already. They've almost completed the number sense pi. They've got a good chunk of these two pies, and they're currently working here. Access to certain pieces of the pie. So that's a good way for you to kind of help them move forward um, so that they can open up more topics. Then you'll get a list of things that topics that the student can do. And then you'll also get a list of topics that the student is ready to learn next. Um, and then at the very, very bottom, what you'll get here, you'll actually get a history. So this student's initial, initial assessment was at 36, and then that LP they grew by 9, or he grew by 9, which put him at 45%. Uh, but then he took a progress assessment and actually ended up going backwards to 40 and then had to start all over again with his forward movement. So this is where the notebook comes in handy for them so that they don't have this backward slide. As you can see, it happened again. They'd made progress by 6% and then the student took the LP assessment and it, and it basically, he lost 6% of his mastery. So that's where the notebook will come in handy. So you'll get this every Monday, I'll mail it out. Now I, I also am putting all of the information in a spreadsheet which will make it easier for you to enter the information into your grade book. So I actually take all of those reports and then I, I break it down for you so that you don't have to try and figure out what you have to put in what box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go through one of these and show you how you would put in these numbers into this grade book. Okay, so what we have here is we'll start with the first one. The student's initial score was a 19. So 19%. Initially, when they took the assessment, the student scored at knowing 19% of the 262 topics. Once you put that in, this number will actually change. And what it's telling you is it's telling you that in order for the student to stay on task and to master 75% of these topics by the end of the semester, that student has to grow by 11% this LP. So ideally, what you would want to see here is you would want to see them move to 30%. So um, you can have a discussion with the student and let them know that, you know, in order to stay on task, they need to grow by at least 11%. So this student grew, actually grew by 30. So at the end of the LP, progress percent was at 30%. So he met that target. This time is on that report that I send out every week. So you would enter this in. Remember, they can't have any more than four hours. So you would just enter in the time. And then the notebook is at your discretion, so whatever score you give it, remember based on the idea that three topics a day is ideally what, what we'd like to see them do in order to stay on task. So you can grade that however you want. And then the assessment score would be right here, and the student got a 29. Once I enter that, it's going to give me an automatic grade over here. The nice thing about this grade book is that once you put in the end of LP progress, it actually auto fills into the next LP, so it's like a starting point for where that student's at. So in order for that student to stay on task in LP7, they've got to grow by 11 points. And you would only enter in on the green boxes. And every time you enter something in this field, it's going to automatically fill in in the next box below. So it carries that over every single time. Um, if you have any questions or you need any additional help, let me know. We did have a situation last semester where we had a student who hit the 75% mark relatively quick. So if you notice that your student seems to be starting out pretty high, like at 50%, you may want to contact me so that we can adjust the gradebook to reflect maybe 100% completion or 95% completion. So that way, once the kid or the student hits 75%, they don't just stop doing work, and then trying to get them to do work is, is difficult. So let me know of situations like that, and I can help you out. Um, again, if you have any questions, any problems, let me know, and I will try and help you out as best I can.